Okay, my dear students, I'm reading the question for you. Uh, question number two, Alana owns and manages a shop with three separate departments. Basically, there are three departments. And which of them are these? Uh, one is food department, another is clothing department. And thirdly, we have toys department. Okay, there are three departments in a store, food, clothing, and toys. Okay, food, clothing, and toys. And then the examiner state the following trial balance uh, is given for the year ended 30 April 12. Now, if the year is ending on April 2012, then year must have been started on after April comes May and May 2011. Okay, so the start of the year date is May 2011. Now, as you can see, uh, we have inventory. We have uh, inventory for three separate departments. 10,000 is the inventory for food department and 12,000 for clothing and toys is 31,000. Uh, basically it is 31,000 why because three zeros are given in the top okay this is opening inventory now as you may be aware that in the trial balance there is always opening inventory and closing inventory is never given in the trial balance instead it is given in the notes to the account then we have purchases and sales so how we'll make sure which of them are purchased and which of them are sales there are two ways to find these out uh, one is the obvious way that uh, obviously the purchase cost should be lower than the sales okay so this is basically the entire uh, reason of the business being conducted because we sell goods for more than we actually purchase for okay so the sales would be higher value and the purchase will be lower value and there is another way to find out that uh, that purchase are always debit in nature okay purchase would be on the debit side this is a trial balance and trial balance is always written as a debit and credit and these credit values must be sales and the debit values must be purchases then we have some other expenses such as sales staff wages advertising heat and light insurance fixture and fitting although it's a non-current asset but the depreciation of that needs to be calculated and depreciation is always an expense then we have a property uh, it is also non-current asset we have trade receivables bank balance if it's on the debit side then it's a positive bank balance and if instead it's written on the credit side then it must be a bank overdraw we have trade tables on the credit side we have capital on the credit side as well now additional information as you can see is given in the notes uh, what is the requirement? First of all, we need to make a departmental income statement in a columnar format. And what is the columnar format? My dear student, you may be aware that income statement is always made in two columns. But here, as you can see, there are three separate departments. For all of these departments, we need to make two columns. Uh, two columns for food, two columns for clothing, and two columns for toys. So this all together makes six columns departmental income statement first of all we'll be starting off with sales so we'll be starting with sales now as you can see uh, sales of all three departments is given food is 250000 clothing is 150 and toys is 100000 so we'll be writing sales food clothing and toys then after sales if there is a sales return that also it needs to be directed here and mostly there is no sales return so then we can move on to the cost of sale part so how is cost of sale being calculated we'll be starting with opening inventory now the opening inventory is always given where opening inventory is always given in the uh, trial balance now as you can see opening inventory is 10,000 12,000 and 31,000 so I'm writing uh, thousands directly and not writing three zeros such as uh, mentioned by the examiner so it's easy to write all the zeros uh, and there is no confusion in that after opening inventory uh, comes purchase now as you can see purchase always comes on the debit side 67000 50000 and 57000 it's a purchase for all of three these three departments opening add purchase then closing as you can see the closing inventory uh, closing inventory beta is always given in the notes as you can see note number 1 we have three types of inventory uh, uh food inventory clothing and toys inventory these are all closing inventory and it needs to be deducted why because these goods haven't been sold yet and will be selling it in future so there comes cost of sale opening add purchase less closing becomes cost of sale so i am calculating cost of sale for all three uh, departments separately 
and uh, if i uh, did a cost of sale from the revenue figure i am left with gross profit now as you can see till the gross profit it is very easy it's just like calculating uh, gp for a single department income statement okay after gross profit there can be add other income there can be rent received or commission received or discount received we do not have any other incomes and then we will be uh, uh, charging expenses first of all the expense that we do have is sales staff wages now let us see how much sales staff wages we do have we have 80000 worth of wages now the question here arises that out of this 80000 wages how much of the wages relate to food department how much to the closing and toys department and the answer for this must lie in these notes we need to find out the expense apportionment as you can see expenses are apportioned between department as follows and which of the expense that we need to apportion right now is sales staff wages and what is the information given for sales staff wages apportioned on the basis of sales income sales staff wages my dear students is charged on the basis of sales income now how can we uh, apportion this let us see uh, first of all my dear student let us see uh, the base the base is sales income and as you can see sales income is already given here uh, food department sales is basically 250000 clothing sales is 150000 and toy sale is 100000 so what if if i add all of these now instead of writing thousands i am uh, simplifying it for 250 150 and 100 if i add up all of these sales that so the total sales is 500 and out of this 500 how much of the sales belong to the food department so the food department sales is basically 250 out of 500 so what i need to do i need to make a fraction 250 upon 500 so this becomes 0 0.5 0 0.5 my dear students become 50 percent so out of the total sales that is 500,000, 50 percent sales belong to which department it belongs to the food department so what we need to do, we need to apply 50% on the sales staff wages. And what is the sales staff wages that is given here? Sales staff wages is 80,000. Okay, so half of 80,000 or 50% 50 of 80,000, this would become 40,000. Okay, let us see how to apportion sales staff wages to the next department that is clothing. Now, how much sales belong to the clothing department, Britta? 150 and what was the total sale if we add up all of these three the total sale was 500 so 150 upon 500 this becomes 0 0.3 0 0.3 becomes uh, this means 30 percent 30 percent of what of total expense and the expense for sales staff is 80,000 so 80,000 times 30 percent this means 24,000 or 30 percent of the sales staff wages should be uh, borne by uh, clothing department okay and 50 percent of the sales staff wages should be incurred by food department and how much of the sales staff wages should be incurred by toys department let us see how much sales do toys department have 100 upon total sales what is the total sale 500 this is 20 percent multiplied by 80,000. this is 16,000. so what happens if i add up all of these if i add up all of these now the uh, the total that i'll end up with would be 80000 so this way we divided the total sales staff wages in all of these three department and the logic is that uh, the more sales you are generating this means the more sales uh, staff is being employed by your department okay now as you can see 50% uh, of the entire sales belongs to the food sales therefore 50% of the sales staff must be working under full food department okay and the minimum department uh, minimum sales uh, that is being generated by toys department that is 20 percent so that 20 percent of the total sales staff wages should be bared by these toys department but secondly the expense that we do have is advertising now let us see in the list how much of the total advertising cost we paid we paid total of eight thousand okay and the question here arises that what is the apportionment base for advertising now as you can see advertising apportionment base is also same as sales income 
So the same percentages that we use for apportioning sales staff wages, that is 50, 30, 20, we are going to use in advertising as well. Now, uh, the logic is the same. The more uh, sales your department is generating, this means the more advertising uh, was required to make that sales happen. Okay. So therefore, the advertising cost should also be apportioned on the basis of sales revenue. Now, in note number three, as you can see, there is also an adjustment relating to advertising and that is advertising 2000 remain unpaid. So unpaid, my dear student, means accrued. So if we write unpaid or accrued or owing or areas, this all means the same thing. Okay. So if the advertising is unpaid, that is accrued. So the accrued needs to be added at the uh, end of the year. So uh, the question here arises that uh, do I need to add the accrued first and then apportion the expenses or do I apportion the expenses first and then to adjust the up, uh, accrued? Now the answer to this is that uh, one must always uh, adjust accrued and prepaid first and then and only then we can apportion the expense. Now, as you can see, how much of the advertising bill we have paid, 8,000 and 2,000 worth of advertising is remaining unpaid. This means we have already uh, used this service of the ad agency uh, worth 2,000, but this 2,000 has not yet been paid. So no matter whether it's paid or not, uh, if we have utilized the expense in this year, the expense should be charged this year. Okay, so the total expense now becomes 10,000 and this 10,000 need to be uh, adjusted on the basis of sales income. Now, let me show you how we did this previously. So the food department sales was 250, clothing was 150 and toys was 100. If I add up all of these, the total sale was 500. So what I need to do, I need to apply sales 250 upon 500, 250 upon 500 and multiply by 10,000. Okay, 50% of 10,000 would become 5,000. What about the clothing department 150 upon 500 multiply by it's 30 percent of 10,000 so this will just would become 3,000 and what about the toys department toys department beta is 100 upon 500 therefore it's 20 percent of 10,000 so this would becomes 2,000 so if I add up all of these 5 3 and 2 this would becomes 10,000 okay so total advertising cost was spread between three departments on the basis of revenue this means the more revenue your department is generating, therefore the more advertising must have been gone through for this sales to take place. Okay, so as you can see, uh, food department is bearing most of the cost and the lowest uh, is bared by the toys and clothing is uh, in between the two. And what about the other expenses? And the next expense that we do have is heat and light. And as you can see the heat and light, we have paid 30,000. So first of all, we also need to see, is there any accrued or prepaid? Now, as you can see, note 3, 6,000 has been paid in advance. Advance or prepaid means the same thing, beta. If we have paid some of the expense in advance, so therefore this prepaid shouldn't be charged this year. So what will happen? Uh, I need to deduct this prepaid. Uh, prepaid needs to be detected at the end of the year and accrued needs to be added. Okay. So I need to detect this and uh, now the question here arises that what is the basis of apportioning this heat and light? Apportion on the basis of floor area. This means the heat and light relates to the floor area. This means the bigger department that you have, the more heating and lightning would needs to be incurred, okay, to make this place uh, heat, uh, warm enough or maybe uh, the lightning uh, should be proper so therefore so heat and light cost should be divided on the area and how do we have been given the area yes as you can see note number two the shop has two floors okay so there is a ground floor and there can be a first floor now as you can see this is the ground floor and this is first floor now what happens to the two floors uh, with the food department on the ground floor and both the toys and clothing department taking up equal floor space on the floor above. Now, uh, let me show you with the help of this simple uh, chart. Uh, in the ground floor, we have only one department that is food department. And in the first floor, if we can visualize, there are two separate departments. One is for clothing and one is toys. So first of all, what we did out of this 100%, 50% was basically food and 50% were other two departments. 
and out of this 50 percent these needs to be divided into two separate departments so we can say that food department and 50 and this 50 needs to be divided between equally between the two and this would become 25 and 25 okay so therefore the apportionment that we are doing is 50 25 25 and we can also say that if there are four uh, sections and out of these four two uh, uh, belongs to the food department and one each for clothing and toys so we can do two upon four one upon four or one upon four or instead we can do 50 25 25 so therefore this is the apportionment for food clothing and toys so let us see how we can divide this so the total heat and light bill that we paid was 30,000 and out of this 6,000 was prepaid prepaid means my dear student this does not belong to this year instead it belongs to the next accounting period okay so what we need to do we need to deduct this prepaid this doesn't uh, belong to this year we need to deduct this prepaid so the total uh, is basically uh, how much is it 30,000 minus 6,000 prepaid this would become 24,000 then out of this 24,000 50% must be apportioned to where food department and this 50% uh, that is 12,000 needs to be divided equally between the two okay if we divide 12,000 divided by 2 this would become 6,000 for each of the other department let us see some other expenses what other expenses do we have uh, we have insurance and what is the basis for apportionment but, uh, insurance also needs to be apportionment using floor area so we have already established what is the floor area of different departments 50 percent of all expenses relates to the food and 25 25 for clothing and toys and is there any accruals and prepaid in insurance we do not have any accruals and prepayment instead what we need to do we need to just divide this 5000 into three departments so 50000 of 50% 50 of 5000 would becomes uh 2500 that is half of 5000 and this uh remaining half should be divided equally between the two that is 2500 divided by 2 or 5000 times 25% this should become 1250 okay 1250 for each of the department and lastly beta we have depreciation now is there any method or rate for depreciation is given as you can see beta depreciation rate that is given in the question straight line depreciation is charged uh, fixture and fitting at 10 percent per annum okay straight line 10 percent per annum so in a straight line method beta we need to apply 10 percent on the original cost now as you can see what is the original cost for fixture and fitting original cost is 120,000 so what i need to do i need to apply 10% on the 120,000 120,000 multiply by 10% this would becomes how much this would becomes 12,000 so the total depreciation that we do have is 12,000 and the depreciation also needs to be apportioned on the basis of area so again 12,000 half of 12,000 would uh, be relating to food and the other half should be split equally between the two that is 25 25 or we can say 12,000 times 25 percent that is 3 and 3 so if I add up all of these three the total that, that I'm left with is 12,000 okay <laughs> so what I need to do I need to add up all of these expenses now food expenses are these uh, and if I deduct the expenses from the gross profit part I am left with profit for the year now the profit relating to food department is this profit relating to clothing is this and finally profit relating to toys is this so this way beta we were managed we managed to calculate separate profit of each of these three departments so what is the benefit of this the benefit for alana should be that now alana knows that which department is the biggest contributor to the overall profitability